the final clash. Let's begin. Ooh, 84 spots. Three days. Three times. All right. Let's go down in. This is the lab. It must have been someone connected with those blasted hippies. They strike again. Gun. Okay. See, I wasn't imagining it. Someone's sneaking around. Anyway, we should return. It's time to start the transfer to the TV station. Happy customer project checklist at the lab. One minute lens installed. Mr. Marmot has filled idle with the material. Idle's interior and control panels locked. E. Marmot signed. M. Westlake. J. Nowak. At 2 p.m. idle, Red Crystal handed over to two guards for transfer to TV station. M. Westlake. Did the crystal change color in the first game? I don't remember. At the TV station. Ugh. Oh, yeah. At 3 p.m. idle, red crystal control and interior panels locked. Hand it over to Jack, your Gina TV. All right, so this has been locked here. So they found this thing. Ooh, go inside. He's drinking. Oh my, that was disgusting. A bottle of soda that reeks of rotten eggs. One five two six nine. Okay, I'm just gonna write that down. Why not? Get my head in there. Let's get my head in the game. All right. Uh, they fainted it. Doors locked. If the focus crystal is blue, the idol is empty. If the focus crystal is red, the idol is full. If the idol contains information to successfully use the give command, there must be a valid information vessel within range, either a blank Lemurian data disk or a living awake human being. For the idol to perform any function, the matter button must be switched on. Magic in the lens. Upgraded security protocol. Since the attack of the empathy cult, which followed the dismissal of our consultant, we must make every precaution to ensure the idle safety. Oh, Tessa is up to no good again. An OPIG certified guard will always be present within the idle. With the idle. Keys to the lab are granted only to me, Marie, Tim, and the shift guard. Tim. Not even Jack? I think Jack is the one that's really behind all this. The idol's control panel and interior are now protected with a pin code available only to me, Marie and Jack. What? Why does Tim have it then? There's vomit in the sink. That's how he threw up. He didn't like it. We're back here. Is this the only thing? Oh, is this nothing? There's no words? This is just information. So I just have to find information. There's no, um, all the words are given. Got to find all the spots. Go back up. Any more spots? I don't know. So this is, um, let's say quarter to two. So this is 2.30. Something's on the move. All right, why is everybody throwing up? Ah, uh, what the hell is this? And then Bruce Meissen. Oh, great. They got some codes here. Let's do this.
These must be codes to luggage of kinds. All right, so this is take memory. All right, that's the minute time. Minute, that's minute. We have the square that was used. I can't remember who it was. Yeah, so the minute is taken out. A bit of snow falls suddenly. Everyone starts driving like a snail. B. Greer, these guys are still around. All right. I don't see anything else. Look at the big transmitter there. OPTV. There's going to be 64 locations here. Oh, they put the multipliers on. It's all big now. It's been changed. It's uh, 30 minutes later. Who did this? Eighty four spots. Maybe if I finish this, it'll go. And OPIG corporations. Okay, let's go back to the first time. Take a closer look at Marie's paper. Happy customer project checklist. One minute lens installed. Mr. Marmer's filled idle with the material. So some kind of memory. They're locked. Did it, did it. At 2 p.m. Handed over the two guards to transfer to the TV station. Did it, did it. At 3 p.m. Idle. Red crystal control and interior panels locked. Hand over to Jack and Eugene at the TV station. Go live for the commercial break during the pale finals at 5 p.m. So they're going to spend send some memory. Was to give... Memories. Give orange memories? Like they just want to sell. Okay, so they just want to send the models having a happy time drinking orange. It's a beer commercial. Uh, or is it just happy memories? To achieve this, those behind the project wanted to use the idol to give, uh, or is it to increase? Okay, I think it's actually, this should be increase or range sales. All right. To achieve this, those behind the project wanted to use the idol to give the memories of drinking orange with the drug euphoria to the million inspectors watching the pale finals. Okay. The project was invented and led by Marie Lesmey, because she is the only one that didn't have the rejected. What? Was it Eugene? All right, it was Eugene. I thought this was a Marie plan. Oh, we have a different day now. So is it more, it's just information. Sharing truly positive feelings about Orange. So this is back in time, I think. It is. Glad to hear it. He's even titled himself Head of Speculative Investment, with me in the room. He must not succeed. Hey, what's your secret, Tim? 
I've never seen Nathan fast track a budget as quickly as he did with the Poppy customer project. Also, I've heard rumors that he regularly visits the lab of yours. Is that true? Because he hasn't done once on site trips like that in years. And I said his wife. I know we've always had our differences, but you're right. We must take action. Just yesterday, that imbecile made me rearrange the lab's furniture using Feng Shui's principles. Oh, she doesn't like it. She doesn't like Eugene. Mary, your update on idle proposal is much more interesting now that you have placed the skills and obedience training within a military context. Okay, so it was Marie's idea for the, for the efficiency. The army is our dream client, but the higher-ups will need to see a very convincing demonstration before they are willing to be in talks with us. I'm sure you will have a full role to play working under Eugene. Madam, don't make me use more force than necessary. Your access card, madam. You are banned from the premises. You lied to me. You are my worst student ever. I thought you cared about spreading enlightenment, but you just want to shove an ad down everybody's throats. Beware. Empathy will have its revenge. The student has surpassed the master. Nothing can stop my rise to the top. You are fired. This is very exciting. If the project succeeds, the implications are enormous. The customer market is just the first step. I have much bigger goals in mind. Jack, do you think there's a distance or scale limit? Our stress tests have not discovered any limitations so far, Mr. Hoyle. I have a high degree of confidence in the project having successful outcomes. I wonder, is he Hunter Wolf? Jack is too passive in all this. E-M-A. T. Meta. I don't know. Okay. At each of these times, what did the idol contain? And who was the last person to have used it? What? What day is this? Oh man, I'm going to have to go discover. Uh, the pinnacle. What's in the square disc? Alright, this is Tessa's. This is Marie's. This is Jack's. Idle rules. Oh, maybe I can just figure it out. So, shortly before Eugene and Jack left the laboratory, the idle contents. Um, maybe happy memories of the O range. Hmm. That's one minute. What disc was used? It's got the dot disc and the... This is the dance disc, right? What 
the square disc. This is take. Oh, this is give. This is take. It's empty. Ah, uh, the codes for the different things. Here's you're given the codes for the different locations. This is smuggled in. So the square disk. The, of the square disk. All memories. Of the square disk. Like all memories. All memories. Alright, let's go back to. Uh, Spill Dance Complex Beach Trip. Alright, Triangle Disc has the happy memories on it. The last user was. I don't know, Eugene Marmot. It could be Tim Spender. Now, are there plans within plans? Now, the question is, are there two conspiracies? I think there's plans within plans and the jack is the one that's being clever okay so here's my proposal this day so I think this is loaded by Tim Spender he shouldn't have the code right so he's loading but what disk did he use Maybe the figurine disc? Like, oh. alright, I'm guessing here, but maybe they, they want to show that everybody can learn how to dance. And that will do it. I don't remember what's in the other discs. Alright, let's check some, let's do some other checking. Um, ancient artifacts. Alright, the man disc, this is... Echo Secunda. Let's go back a little further. The day, this is the dance disc. And his memories are transferred to the X disc. Which is not a choice. The thought disk is empty. No! I don't mean to click there. So these haven't been used yet. So maybe it's the dance disk, dark disk, maybe it's the dance disk. Uh, we're gonna have to guess.
Now it's causing people to vomit, which I don't know why. So all memories. All right, maybe the figurine disc, maybe the dot disc. And it was Tim Spender who did it. All right, then John Nowak's plan goes into effect on the bus. He's using the square disc because that's what's in the truck. And it was used by Bruce Meissen. Bruce Meissen's not here. Was it Jack Nowak? Alright, um... It's, it's a thing where it's like... Is it Echo Secunda? The guards are not in the list. Uh, all right, I think it might be Jack Nomak. This give memories. That's all I can see. But the choices Jack Nowak, Eugene Marmot, Tessa Navari, Mary Westlake, Tim Spender, Echo Secunda. Oh, unless it's Tessa Navari's plan. But the all memories of the good memories of the square disc. Oh. Ah, okay, I see. I see, I see. I see what they did. We have a, a double. Uh, Pinnacle Security. Security Captain. Uh, security Sergeant. Alright, is it red when it gets here? It is red. Look at it. Could be the dot disc. Ah, oh, great. Like, I really don't know what they're trying to get at here. This could be Jack. All right, how am I supposed to figure this out? They have good. All, all, is it not all? Like good memories? of the triangle disc and then figurine disc dance memories orange memories all right we're at brute force mode because there's I don't think there's enough clues There aren't enough clues to figure this out. I don't think it was Marie, I think it was Tim. All right, let's take a look. Uh, 
Steady rig. Oh man. Okay, okay, maybe it wasn't him. Mr. Marmot has filled the item with the material. Okay, so that should be right. Eugene Marmot. When the item is loaded, uh, let's say it's Tessa Navari. Do we, can we see her? Like sneaking around? Take memories, give hate. Give heat. We want her to explode. Why is everybody throwing up? Why does Tim have a code? One, five, two, nine. One, five, two, nine. Wait, where's one, five, two, nine? One, five, two, six, nine. So this is the, the code. One, five, two, six, nine. Let's open the box. Change the lens. Figurine disc, triangle disc, square disc, dot disc. Why is he vomiting? Ah, uh, I'm missing something. So shortly before Eugene and Jack left the laboratory, it was like, oh, well, I'm going to say all memories again. All memories of the triangle disc. Eugene Marmot. And the idol was loaded onto the security van. It was changed by sneaker person. You have to say take haze. It wasn't the security captain. No, security sergeant. All right, I've just misunderstood everything. Completely. Can you do space bar? Oh, space bar. This is probably right. With all memories of the so good memories, why do we need this? So, like, I'm thinking there's clues about this. There's vomit in the sink. So, I, I, it's Tim Spender, man. They never diminish.
Oh, wait. Okay. So, maybe it's not the dot disc, maybe it's the figurine disc. Uh, the, not the square disc. Not the triangle disc. Not the dot disc. Incorrect. Dot disc, triangle disc, dot disc, square disc, triangle disc, figurine disc. Oh. Bad memories of the orange. That's why he's throwing up on the... Okay, he's throwing up because he gave himself bad memories about the orange. They put them in. And that's why the security guard's throwing up. Alright, Tim Spender. Now. Okay, what's this... Let's put Echo in here. Oh no, there's only one mistake. Um, this was just changed. Spender, Westlake. What? Oh wait, Spender's the wrong. Marmot. Okay, now it's incorrect. Now there's three things that are wrong. Definitely the square disc. Uh, security captain? No, it's security sergeant for sure. With all memories of the square disc. Is it good? All right, it's good. All right, so Tim Spender. Now I get it. Okay. So he loaded it with bad memories of orange. So it's just a reversal. It's just a straight, straight revenge against Eugene. And then the real plan happens. Either Tessa Navari or Jack Nowak. I think it might be Jack. All right. November 8th. Play later. So Hunter Wolf. Hunter Wolf is Jack. For sure. This man is not breathing. Don't touch his fire. Hunter has been acting strangely long silence and seems confused or angry. It's worrying. Nevertheless, I will do anything to help my savior. My faith in Hunter's vision is unwavering, whatever that vision may be. The savior is back and looks filled with determination and grace. I'm ready to do whatever is asked of me. I am soldier of faith. So this is Luke Brown. Empathy warriors and... Okay, I can put this. Mass terrorists attacked the science laboratory with Molotov cocktails on Tuesday, November 2nd. The gang also spray-painted slogans on the building, which is owned by Olympus Pinnacle International Group, OPIG. O An OPIG spokesman said the extremists fled when employees threatened to call the police. However, the company declined to comment on why it must might have been targeted. Good. Oh, this is a security guard. Gun. Oh, he took the security guard gun. Good, you will have a very important role play on our next step. Don't worry about me, I can endure anything. I'll cut the rest of the tape myself. All right. Oh, it's Luke Brown. Luke Brown is in this now. So he's been drained. All right. The Tessa Navarre's attack. Consequently, Jack Nowak, assisted by Luke Brown, well, let's say Hunter Wolf, assisted by Luke Brown,
Ambushed. Bruce Mason. At the Opaque Laboratory. Then, Hunter Wolf. Use the idol to give all memories from Luke Brown. Oh, to take all memories. From Luke Brown and to give all memories to um, Bruce Mason. Okay, that was pretty straightforward. We got the broadcast. I still think he's Jack Nowak. We apologize for the brief interruption due to technical difficulties. The commercial break is now over, so let's return to the second half. It's still anyone's game. Uh oh. Was it. Um, Tampered with by Tessa Navare again. Oh, she looks like she's there. That's Tessa Navare. All right. For empathy and love. Our job is done. Empathy has triumphed. Tessa, I'm with you. I also worry about what Eugene, or worse, Marie and Nathan might do with the idol. The lab is now heavily guarded. The best time to stop them will be moments before the broadcast. We are scheduled to go live at 5.30 p.m. In the room, it should only be me, Eugene, and the actors, Jack. Is Jack not Hunter Wolf? I think all the lenses are gone. Hands up. You will pay for this. Dear Nathan Hoyle, your proposal sounds very interesting. Let's schedule a demo of your new technology. If it looks promising, we can talk next steps. General Hugh Stryker, ASH, Armed Forces, Procurement Department. Oh, that's Summer. Ah! Bottle of lavender perfume. Hey! The dude! Oh. Icarus, um, am I hallucinating, or is it some form of tox intoxication? Is Hunter Wolf actually the professor? Did he take over his nephew's body? Wait, he's looking in, he's like, what? I'm Jack? What the hell's going on? The door is locked from the inside. Hi, Eugene. Taste this beverage soon. Everyone will know how delicious it is. That rigs of rotten eggs. Audio in, video in is unplugged. Audio out, video out. I did it. Help. Carrot top. <laughs> Make sure idol is loaded in van. Keep an eye on Baldy. Report to me at OPTV and await further instructions. Four eyes. Prepare van for idol. Transportation. Report to me on OPTV and prepare for broadcast. Operate camera during broadcast so we can get to confirm the effect. Me. Supervise the TV station. Welcome summer. And ensure that everyone she everything she needs. Coordinate with old Nathan. Carrot Top is Marie. The Triangle. So, you are the mastermind behind this fantastic project. I would really like to get to know you better. Wait for me on the roof for some quality alone time, and I'll, and I'll come as soon as the live broadcast ends. Strong lavender fragrance. All right. Uh, the lenses are broken. I guess I just destroyed the machine. Oh, game crasher. Okay. 
The man's eyes are bloodshot and streaming with tears. Uh, it looks like there's gas here. I just saw Nathan run in, in with security. Hand it over to transfer. So I think she planted that thing with Eugene. Yeah, she did. Bottle of lavender perfume. What is the ruckus in there? So, is this actually the professor? I still think Hunter, Wolf, and Jack Norg are the same. Somebody's possessed them. All right, with Tim Spender. Lured. Trapped Eugene Marmot on the roof. All right. However, through a reckless act... Tessa Navari. Brew the idol. Huh. Alright, so this is Tessa Navari down here. Tessa Navari uh, stormed the TV station and threw the idol out the window. Why, uh, why, 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 all right. All right, let's, let's assume it's Eugene. Eugene Marmot. Stopped. Oh, him. Billy Greer received bad memories from the broadcast. Wait, 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 wait. No, that's not right. No, he got pepper sprayed. This is wrong. This is wrong. All right, I got to look around some more. Oh, I'm missing a location. Something is not making sense here. Oh no, it's from the next thing. I'm with you. I worry about what Eugene or worse might do with the idol. The lab is now heavily guarded. The best time stopped them. Jack is um, manipulating them. Uh, I'm not sure what the reckless act is.
I'm not sure this is right from getting getting maybe bad memories of the orange Oh, is Jack? Did Jack get hit? From the broadcast. No. Alright, this middle part. It must be Eugene, because he's climbing that stuff. So what did he do? Oh, it's broadcast, baby. Stop the broadcast. As a result, only receive bad memories. The two things are wrong. No, it is Tim Spender. All right, as expected. All right, tested a variety along with a calm storm the TV station and threw the idol out of the window. This is this has got to be right. Like, yes, so something weird is here. So, although through reckless act, Eugene Marmot, yes, it's definitely Eugene, stopped the yeah broadcast with the aim of preventing the spectators. Yes, 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 yes. From getting bad memory. This might be the wrong thing. Um, no, it is bad memories. Bad memories of the orange. Alright, as a result, maybe it's not Jack. It is Jack. Received bad memories. Oh. Okay, this is wrong. Received. All memories? I'm not sure about this one. Uh, we had bad memories here. Two of you are correct. That's this is a Nathan. Incorrect. All right. So this is still wrong. So good memories? No. Um, triangle disc? No. Square disc? No. Dot disc? All range memories. Idle memories. Figurine disc. Triangle disc. All memories. All memories? So it is all memories. Okay. Let's put Jack back. We still have one more mistake. Or maybe just from the idol. Okay, that's it. We're back here again. When did this happen?
What's the summary here? I'm getting, well, I'm getting distracted when it happens. Like, is this before or after? All right, when is this? November 2nd, 1970. What a disaster. I put Harry and William in positions of power, and they both still failed me, each in his own way. Regrettably, they were not good enough. Even if they, ha if they had been... There are too many people in the world who are opposed to my goals. People who don't share my vision of how the world should be and who cling to their old ways. It's too much for just me and Luke. I know what I have to do. It is done. Nothing should stop us now. The last thing left is preparing you and rehearsing our every step. Is this... Oh, this is. They, they pushed him off the ledge. As you said, my savior, the greatest results require the greatest sacrifices. So this is before. Yeah, December 16th is the pale game. All right. Okay, okay, I think it's Jack. Okay, so posing as Hunter Wolf. Jack Nowak. Equally experimented with the idol to find the best ways using it to optimize, educate. Maybe conquer? That's, I'm going to say educate. Humanity. After. Well, it has to be becoming. Disillusioned. Uh, Jack Nowak decided the only way was to control everyone. Well, to turn everyone into a slave. Really? No, no, into a genius. Um, I'm not sure. To fill this plan, Jack Nowak tried to use the the Harmonity Project, the Happy Customer Project. To to blank blank of blank into blah blah. However, because of what happened at the TV station, this is before the TV station. Jack Nowak was the only person to turn into Isaac Nowak. To Isaac Nowak. Um... Turn everyone into Isaac Nowak. To turn millions of people. All right. Hmm. 
millions of spectators into Isaac Noah. All right. You have solved the scenario. When Jack realized that Opig did not want to use the idol to improve the world, he started a secret mission to do it himself under the pseudonym Hunter Wolf. After experimenting with memory and mind transfero, he came up with a plan to use Opig's soda commercial project to turn millions of pale spectators into his Uncle Isaac. But thinking that everyone was about to receive spoiled O-range memories, Eugene climbed the broadcast tower and stopped the transmission at the last moment. Soon afterward, Tessa and her accomplice hurled the idol from a third story window, smashing all the lenses inside. Madame, do not even think about starting a cult in a federal facility. Congratulations, Eugene, on becoming our new head of speculative investment. This is all your fault, Tim. Uh-oh. Of course. Echo Secunda for the DLC. Uncle, if you're watching this, I hope you could forgive me. Please understand that I did it for the betterment of humanity. So it turned out Harry had not attended a single job interview. He wasn't the man I thought he was. No wonder he used Gabriel's body for such immoral purposes. But even when I did find a truly noble man in William... As just one person, he was unable to make a difference in Darren's body. I realized that for any meaningful change to occur, humanity need millions more excellent individuals, and I had to be one of them. After all, how could I impose of millions of others a sacrifice that I was not willing to make myself? All that was left to, fi to find the most ethical, intelligent, educated person I knew, and that is when I thought of you, Uncle. That's it. Hey, I know those people from Lateral. say over the credits a whole list of people nefuidimu Wasn't me. Thank you for playing. Back. Ooh. Oh, it's just this. And that is the rise of the Golden Idol. But of course, Echo Secunda is still at large. Is he going to destroy the world? We'll find out.